believers. Today I want to speak about a topic that is at the very heart of our faith and our relationships with one another, forgiveness. Forgiveness is a powerful force, one that has the potential to transform our hearts, heal our wounds, and bring us closer to the divine. The call to forgive. Forgiveness is not just a suggestion from Jesus, it's a command. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 to 15, Jesus tells us, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Forgiveness is a foundation to our relationship with God. It's a way of emulating His grace and mercy. When we hold on to grudges or bitterness, we are not only harming our relationships with others, but also creating a barrier between ourselves and God. The power of forgiveness. Forgiveness transforms or changes us. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, Paul writes, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Forgiveness has the power to mend broken relationships, heal emotional wounds, and bring peace to our hearts. Consider the story of Joseph in Genesis. Betrayed by his brothers, sold into slavery, and wronged in countless ways, Joseph eventually rose to a position of great power. When his brothers came to him in need, he chose to forgive them. His forgiveness not only reconciled his family, but also secured a future for his people. Forgiveness can be a force for reconciliation and restoration, breaking the cycle of pain, hatred, and division. Forgiveness frees us. Holding on to anger and resentment keeps us imprisoned in the past. It festers and poisons our lives. When we choose to forgive, we release ourselves from the chains of bitterness and allow ourselves to experience true freedom. In the Lord's Prayer, we ask, forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. This prayer is not just about seeking God's forgiveness, but also about embracing the freedom that comes from letting go of our own grievances. It's an act of trust in God's justice and mercy, acknowledging that He is ultimately in control. Let us delve further into the benefits of having a forgiving heart. Forgiveness is not just a human endeavor, it is divine in nature. The Bible reminds us of God's infinite capacity to forgive. 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. This verse underscores the idea that God's forgiveness is both assured and transformative. It purifies us, making us whole again. Similarly, Daniel 9 and 9 affirms, The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving even though we have rebelled against Him. Despite our shortcomings and failures, God's mercy remains steadfast. His willingness to forgive us is a testament to His boundless love and grace. When we understand the depth of God's forgiveness, it becomes a powerful motivator for us to extend the same grace to others. It reminds us that forgiveness is a reflection of God's character. And by forgiving others, we are participating in His divine nature. Let us carry this understanding into our daily lives, allowing God's example to guide us in our interactions with others, and embracing the peace that comes from a heart willing to forgive. Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? up to seven times. Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, cancelled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, 
be patient with me and I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how my heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Forgiveness is not always easy. It requires courage, strength, and often a deep act of surrender. But it is also one of the most profound expressions of love and grace. When we forgive, we mirror the heart of Christ, who forgave us even when we were at our worst. As you go forth today, I challenge you to reflect on the power of forgiveness in your own life. Is there someone you need to forgive? Is there a burden you need to release? Embrace the transformative power of forgiveness and experience the freedom it brings. May we all find the strength to forgive as we have been forgiven. Amen. Thank you for joining me in this reflection on forgiveness. May God bless you with peace and grace as you walk this path. Remember to like, share and subscribe if you found this message inspiring.